operating systems. An operating system manages and coordinates the functions performed by the computer hardware including the CPU, input, output devices, secondary storage devices and communication and network equipment operating system are the most important program that runs on a computer. Every general purpose a computer must have an operating system to run other programs, operating systems, perform basic tasks such as recognizing input from the keyboard, sending output to the display screen, keeping track on files and directories on the disk and controlling peripheral devices such as disk drives and printers. The operating system software must keep track of each hardware resource, determines who gets what when the user will have access to the resource, allocate how much of the resource the user will be given and terminate access at the end of the use period. Operating systems vary in complexity from those that support single user microcomputers to those that handle multi-user mainframes, their complexity depends on the computer systems, size and scope together with the type of performance provided to its users. A single stand alone microcomputer will have a relatively simple operating system, whereas a mainframe that supports hundreds of users accessing the system simultaneously will have one that it far more complex the primary purpose of an operating system is to maximize the productivity of a computer system by operating in the most efficient manner and minimizing the amount of human intervention requiring an operating system also simplifies the job of computer programmers since it includes programs that perform common input and output the storage operations and other standard processing functions. If you have any hands-on experience on a computer, do you know that operating system must be loaded and activated before you can accomplish other tasks. This emphasizes the operating systems are the most indispensable component of the software interface between users and the hardware of their computer system. Many operating systems are designed as a collection of programs modules which can be organized in combination with various capabilities around the general module or kernel. Such operating system can be uh, tailored uh, to fit the processing power and memory capability of a computer system and the type of processing jobs that need to be done on it. For example, some operating system packages include a selected number of utility programs, language translator programs, uh, compiler and interpreters, and even some application programs. Examples of popular microcomputer operating systems are Windows, Linux, and Mac OS for Apple computers, etc. Some examples of operating systems for microcomputers are Unix. An example of an operating system for a mainframe is OS. This figure 14.2 shows the program that are included in Unix and OS but two functions of an operating system. Even the simplest operating system in a microcomputer, mini computer of mainframe performs a number of source management tasks or functions. These functions include the job management, batch processing, online processing, data management, virtual storage, and input or output management. Job management, job management software manage the jobs waiting to be processed. It recognizes the job, identifies their priorities, determines whether the appropriate main memory and secondary storage capability they require is available and schedules and finally runs each job at the appropriate moment. 
batch processing. System software is available to support the different methods of processing a job. With batch processing, the most basic method data are accumulated and processed in groups. Pre-rule applications, for example, are often processed this way once in every week. Hourly records are grouped and the pre-roll software in run. One-line processing. In one-line processing, data are proce processed uh, in ten instantaneously for example a salesperson may need to find out whether a particular item requested by a customer in is in stock for immediate uh, shipment using an online system the request for information will be instantly acknowledged by the one line software and appropriate steps will be taken to access and the central debates and return the requested information to the terminal form from which the request was made. All these steps take less than a few seconds at the most. Most online operating system have multi-user and multitasking capabilities. Data management. In the process of managing the resources of the computer system, Operating system software also manages the storage and retrieval of data as the system software handles many of the details associated with this process. Such details are not a primary concern for users or programmers writing application programs. Virtual storage. Operating system also manages the allocation of main memory of specific jobs. Some operating system have a feature called virtual storage. With this software, it is possible to increase the capacity of main memory without actually increasing its size. This is accomplished by breaking a job into sequence of instructions called pages or segments and keeping only a few of these in main memory. All the time, the remainder are kept on secondary storage devices. As a result, relatively large jobs can be processed by a CPU that in fact contains a relatively small memory. Input or Output Management Operating system also manage the input to end out from the computer system. This applies to the flow of data among computers, terminals and other devices such as printers, applications, programs to use operating systems extensively to handle input and output devices as needed for large system. The operating system has even greater responsibilities and powers. It is like a traffic policeman. It makes sure that different programs and uses running at the same time do not interfere with each other. The operating system is also responsible for security, ensuring the unauthorized users do not access the system. Classification of operating systems. Desktop operating systems. Operating systems that runs on desktop computers are the most common, generally the operating systems in this category includes Windows, Mac OS and DOS. Windows in the mini version XP and Vista is currently the leading desktop operating system running in over 90% of all new systems sold. Mac OS runs on Apple, Macintosh and PowerPC was the first widely used operating systems with a graphical interface DOS was first introduced in 1980s with IBM original IBM PC. This rapidly dying 8-bit operating system is at the low end of the scale with the character based interface, single tasking etc. Server operating system. 
computer is a node in organization's network and connected to the another node directly but through powerful computers called servers that provide security to the networks and route traffic from one network to another complicated tasks requiring special operating systems. These powerful 32 or 64 bit operating systems are secure, multitasking, multi threading and open all have recently and graphical user interfaces developed for them. Some examples of server operating system are Unix, Windows Server 2008 and Ecom Station, formerly OS Bar, etc. Mainframe operating systems. In the days when mainframes are mini computers are called priority systems. Those companies developed not only their own operating systems but also the applications of run on top of them.